Hello and welcome. How are you doing here? Yeah, I got some water leave in the UK and I want to plan this outside. It's been in my polytunnel. So a polytunnel is like a greenhouse and it's been protected from the wind and actually kept at a high temperature. So we decided to build this structure. It's like a cold frame. So it's preventing it from, you know, preventing the seedlings from the wind and the draft and also capturing the heat because we've got that little glass thing as a lid. So I will be planting some water leaf in the UK. Yeah. So guys, this is what I'm doing. First and foremost, I'm just taking off the leaves, okay? The leaves are still obviously good for food and if you leave the leaves on, it will actually lose moisture. Okay, so I just get rid of the leaves. I'm going to save them to cook or to juice, whichever one. And then you want the stalks. So these are the stalks you want to preserve. Now, water leaf grows like a weed in Nigeria, where I come from. It grows like a weed. You don't even need to propagate it. Obviously, yes, you can plant the seeds and then once you have it there, it will continue receding. But we are in the UK. The climate is not... See, these are what the seeds look like. Okay, and when the seeds are dry, it has really dry black pores. I don't know if that gives us a good view. Okay, and so I will also try and see if I can germinate these seeds. If you are interested, let me know in the comment section if you're in the UK, obviously. And you can see how you can get some of these because these are like really precious, delicate um, leaves that we use to cook. Okay, it's, it's got a very high nutritional profile. It's literally like a spinach. Um, however, it's also high in oxalic acid. So people with kidney stones have to be careful, but it's really nutrient dense. And sometimes we worry much about the anti-nutrients more than the benefits. So water leaf is something that if you've never tried, you should, you should, if you have access to, obviously if you leave in the UK like I do, it's not easy to get hold of it or get it fresh or even organic at that. So yeah. This I uprooted some of them because I thought I was gonna get better better germination with the roots out. So I will be planting that was actually this was the original one I got from Africa earlier in the year. A friend of mine went to Nigeria and got them for me. So I'm really pleased I've been able to grow them. The bitter leaf, I had bitter leaf that did not survive, but I think bitter leaf can grow here. You just need the right timings and the temperatures. I think I, if I had left the bitter leaf on my windowsill, I actually did. I left some on my windowsill, some in the polytunnel, none of them survived. I just think the time of the year, I didn't have enough space on my heat mat because also uh, you have to give it a lot of heat, constant heat. It, probably if I did have enough space on my heat mat, it would have successfully you know, propagated because bitter leaf, the ones we grow, it's propagated through stems apparently there's a variety that is propagated through the seeds but we didn't have those types growing up in nigeria west africa let me know um i believe there's a lady on youtube yaj um ngala she's called i think she propagates it from seeds sorry i'm not looking at the screen whilst doing this i'm trying to multitask whilst doing this yeah we use this to make a special delicacy called a fang soup and also there's a delicious meal my mom used to make with this actually maybe i could make it she called it plus sauce plus sauce is like just a sauce but we loved it growing up and so nostalgic yeah this is just the first harvest in june i hope with what i'm doing today i will have a massive massive yield of water leaf that would be so good honestly because um this is the second time second year i'm trying to grow them i have tried before and what happened was it was in august i received the cuttings from my mom and it just didn't do well by the way my mom here yeah, my my grandparents from my mom's side and my mom are farmers and i think that's where i got my growing gene if there's anything like that but yeah i started growing as a child in africa we grew our vegetables our peppers it was just the general normal thing you did in the garden you know and now i'm so grateful i have the space 
in the UK here where I can grow. But yeah, you start one day and it's totally different, trust me, growing here as opposed to growing in Nigeria. So I have got all my stalks, all my stems. Um, and now it's time to chop a bit. Right, so just little, basically the soil is loose. I'm just gonna make little holes and try to just just put them in like so that's all really nothing too fancy hopefully they should spread and yeah get more seeds and more. i think it's quicker to propagate it from the stems to be honest the seeds will take ages so the stems are the quickest way to propagate but this is amazing isn't it growing this in the uk like I've never seen anyone growing it. I'm sure there are people growing it, don't get me wrong, but just not documented. And this is one of the reasons I'm documenting my garden experiment. Okay? So that somebody out there knows that it's possible and you can actually grow it. And this is doing this outdoors. Obviously, we're using glass to prevent the wind and also keep it warm try and create a microclimate that would help us germinate it so yeah hopefully in a couple of weeks we should have lots and lots of water leaves growing nicely and happily all right so thank you guys so much for watching can you see what it looks like there i'll bring you closer to it that's just what it looks like for now i've got a little bit more not much to go but thank you thank you thank you for watching if you've watched at this point this is my allotment um i have tours on youtube just showing you what i'm growing at each time got a few tomatoes on this plot i've got some pumpkins and some sweet corn beans potatoes and brassicas i love growing food and actually the rewards are endless so if you're interested in my growing videos please let me know in the comment section like this video if you haven't and if you, you haven't yet also kindly subscribe and see you in another video thank you and bye bye